Sumeru. Hey, hey everyone, uh, it's a bit loud, I think. Uh, cool, let me know about the sound, if there's issues. So today we're just going to carry on with our macro keyboard. So this one we did yesterday, so uh, yesterday. Last week Sunday we discussed um, what do we want to do, how we want to make it work. And have some different aspects to it. So today I'm just going to focus on the brain of the operation, the STM circuit. Because we're going to have to have a microcontroller that controls this. Uh, cool. Where's my... I'm gonna go to the big screen, I think. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I like that. So today we're gonna to focus on the microcontroller. Uh, we're gonna try to use the STM32. I've actually never used it before, so it's gonna be quite interesting. Uh, I know there's a development board called the Blue Pole. So we'll see. So I'm going to base it on this. Why can't I move it to the other screen? What are you doing? There we go. So you can see there's a blue ball that's Arduino based, 32-bit. Uh, so I'm going to use this chip, uh, and yeah, we're going to use that as the microcontroller. I saw there's an article about the super blue pole. So someone make the like a SMT32, but it's better. So and there's so this is what we're gonna do today.
And this is the data sheet. Yeah, we won't do we won't use this. This is a BGA. We we'll use the QFB. This one. Oh, 48 actually, I think. Yeah, this this footprint we're gonna use. So let's get started. So we've got our voltages, we've got our grounds. We'll need a crystal, it seems. We'll need a voltage regulator. I'm gonna run it with 3.3 volts. Be bad. Let's just go through supply okay so two to three point seven four to six minutes so the first page of the data sheet is actually quite useful um, yeah depending how much detail you want to go into but the first page actually gives you quite a lot of information what it can all do the different foot si footprint sizes um, so the highlights so you can quickly go over this see if you can use it So we made a, a breakdown of what we want to do. So this is basically what we're going to do. Uh, so this ah, SMT, that was a mistake by me. It's STM32. So this is what we're going to do today. Uh, we've got OLED display, encoders, LEDs. So we have to make sure that our controller can handle all these I.O. input, output things. Yeah, that looks fine. So we'll have a... Uh, so USB is going to be our power, so that's, that's 5 volts. So we'll have to have a 3.3 3 .3 voltage regulator. Uh, 2 times 12 volts ADD. Only two. How many do we need? So, which ones of these will be analog? I'll let this place R squared C. So, we have two R squared C interfaces. That's fine. Uh, RGB LED will be one output, digital output. Rotary encoder digital. The noise checker, that can be. So I think we found the two analog inputs. What's eco pack? And timers, JTAG interface, we can get to that, USB. So what's cool about this chip, it's got an onboard USB. So normally I use the CP2104 with the ESP32, but now I don't need to do that. But we want to do USB 3.1, that's coming later. So let's see. Silly.
I'm just going through it to see if I see anything that can be alarming. So let's go to the... Got his own real time clock. That's cool. I oh, threw the B bat pin. <laughs> hey, Magpie. Thanks, man. You've used this chip before, I assume. Ah, okay. That's great. That is more than enough then. Oh, you made that clock with this chip, I think. Is there anything we should look out for? Any, is it? Ah, uh, there we go, up to 16 external channels. We can get started. No, I don't. Yeah, I think the keypad should not be too difficult. Okay. NRST. Just want to make it. Hey, Chris. You mean drop the same family, right? So. So their pins, pin 10, what I say, will always, most, most of their chips will be BA0. Is that what you mean? a bit bigger <laughs> yeah Chris I actually watched it I thought the cock would make a hundred but that didn't happen
Don't do that yet. We'll do it now. Just want to give a heading here. I always say SMT. That's the ground. I'm sure, we can make all the grounds the same. SSA assumes the analog ground. There we go. So VSSA must be connected to your VDD. So VSS. Okay. Uh, that's cool to know, Magpa. I know Microchip also tried to do the same with the pig family. So it uh, makes life easier. Minkiri, yeah, but he was, he was smashed around the first two overs. But he came back strong. But then Fife, Fife played a Dhoni knock, just calm, cool. What do you mean by here uh, in your village or your city? It's pretty ugly. Guys, as always, if you have questions, please ask. Not too pretty. Just so I don't forget about the decoupling purposes. Yeah, I was thinking about that now. Um, don't know if we need if we, if we use the RTC. Connect can you connect it to like a super cap or a small coin battery? I was thinking if we can if we display the time on the do I need a, a clock? Uh, but yeah, maybe keep it simple. Wider. 
so ugly. Let's give it more space then. Two later. So we've got our cherry good noise OLED displays. OLED displays I squared C. So where is the I squared C on this chip? I'm, I'm looking at the wrong stuff now. I just want to get pin numbers. So we've got BB10, BB11. Yes, it did, eh? Uh, so she made the letters well now. Now she's busy printing some other stuff. But so far, so good. She's enjoying the Fusion, uh, the Fusion 360. You also use the Fusion, right? But then after one year, you have to pay for it, if I'm correct. Just looking for I squared C. I don't wanna. There's many we can use. Defaults timer, let's not use defaults. Remap, okay, I like defaults. My earphone keeps going off, I don't know why. I'm gonna use PB10, PB11. Why not? Why not? 48. Pin 21, 22. See if it lines up. Yes. It's SEL. So I'm going to use that SD13, trying to think now. So I'm going to use one of these. So you can see an SDA, SCL, VCC.
So I'm thinking to put that over there. <laughs> That's fine. I got what you meant. So I'm thinking about using this instead of this. Might look nicer to have a cross. But for this, I need four pins. Either way, I'm going to need four pins. So we can keep our minds open. Okay, it keeps WhatsApping me, but I don't include my WhatsApps. What up what upcoming changes? I don't know about upcoming changes. When is it coming? Because <laughs> Kerry just started us, so she still has a year left. Because after a year it's not free, right? Then you have to pay how much is it how much is the full one? It's cheaper than SolidWorks and Katia and all those things. So now I'm just taking this. I'm going to make a connector for it. putting it here because I'm going to make blocks so the new microcontroller, my display, my audio, I'm going to put it in sections. Oh, I thought after you have to pay. St wow. Step support. Step export. Hey, dark stuff. <laughs> that step one is quite big. What you up to, Doug? Watching golf. Uh, must not forget my up. Pull up resistors, I always, always, always do. I don't know why. Sometimes these dev boards have their own ones somewhere. Anyway, let's keep good practices going. Magpa, how many years have you done PCB boards now, or hardware development, should I say? Who do you think is going to take uh, the game this afternoon in IPL? Hey, Russ. Who's, who's, which South Africans are playing today? I know it's Deccan Chargers versus um, what's David Waters team? De Deccan Chargers with David one, right? He used to play for anyway, I'm losing the plot now. Deccan Chargers versus uh, 
George Bailey's team. Yo, Magba, no wonder you know so much. But in Switzerland, how does it work? Um, do you get a PCB engineer and then a hardware engineer as well? Because in South Africa, you will have the engineers like make the schematic and then you'll just have a guy dedicated to PCB routing layout. But then you get other companies where one guy just does both. I think they're back. Uh, King's Punjab, King's Punjab, yeah, they can, ah, uh, Delhi Capitals, man, <laughs> sorry, Delhi Capitals. Iron Man suit, in 10 years from now, <laughs> Iron Man suit. Delhi Capitals versus King Punjab. I guess, I don't know how big your company is, but I think the bigger the company is, the more they split it up in, in the discipline, should I say. Russell is the Econ uh, master, man. Ask Russell. He did it for years. So that should, this should be good enough now for, oh, I forgot my ground. Maybe we should put a photo here to make ourselves feel better. How much will how much will it cost to build a small aircon? a biggish company it's not too small that's actually it's big okay not corporate big but it's big <laughs> desktop icon let's make a desktop icon uh russ we are making a like a macro keyboard i want a small keyboard next to my keyboard to for shortcuts so when I make designs, I can push one button instead of five. And like Carrie for gaming, she can push buttons and magic will happen. So instead of buying it, we thought, oh, we'll make it. So the guys came up with different aspects. So we're going to have a, yeah, I use the Cherry MX keys. We're going to make it a USB hub. Ambience noise checker. So one guy said, like, when he's gaming, he doesn't, he can't hear behind him. So when someone walks in, he wants the macro keyboard to detect that he walked in and just display some lights as gaming people always want lights 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 so that's basically what we're doing what's the company called if i if i may ask Well, a desktop aircon is your cheapest option. <laughs> a cooler box, are you serious? Oh, recently we'll also, we need aircons in Netherlands.
Hey Maverick. Does anyone have a voltage regulator 3.3 volts that they prefer? I normally just take the MCP because oh, because I'm used to it. MPC, MCP 39 something. Uh, what was it again? Ah, this is for the battery. We're not going to have a battery. We're not going to have a battery. I'm thinking about the mic something. Hey, Jay. Well, let's build it then, Russ. Let's build it. One one seven. Is it called the LMD one one seven? I don't get it on Google. It's showing me like Instagram and what makes it so good? Uh, LM. Okay, I gotta say. Level drop. We're going to make this whole board come from SD. No, but TI also has LM117, right? So LM7 is probably the, the chip, and there's a lot of companies who make it. I don't think SD owns it. Or does it do that? Because I see TI, TI also makes it Texas Instrument. Uh, cool. Can you use it. I'm going to use a lot of new chips on this. So let's see. I'm just going to make blocks of all the stuff we have to do. So that when people come, they can just see, okay, we're busy with this section, this section. Let's make an aircon, guys. Let's make an aircon. In India, does all the homes come with aircons? Because I assume it's extremely hot. the vault drop <laughs> the ship and I say so basically we're going to put one volt in, one volt, a voltage in. Off. 
friend. Let's go kick address. That's free. Free, free, free. This is not how it's supposed to be, we have to add some decoupling capacitors. Hey Ramesh! Dag, I've been doing it for long man. It's like putting me behind your logistics stuff. I'll make stuff go to the wrong places, the wrong countries. It's just what you used to, right? <laughs> and Google makes it easy. Uh, do they recommend certain decoupling caps? Is the package thanks my pa it's just wires Russ so the green stuff are wires this is a chip so I've got input the chip does some magic and I've got output it's really the smart people make this stuff and then us normal people just use it. Thanks Mac, but I will definitely watch it. Horse, what are you talking about, Russell? It's a family show. Yeah, Russell. <laughs> so they can give you some. Oh, we're going to have to. <laughs> Oh, this is different, right? This one, it seems like is an adjustable one, so you change the resistor values to get the voltage out. But when you buy a chip like this, I think it already does it. Or am I wrong? Yeah. Step. Yeah, I see they've got 100 picofarad to microphone. Yeah, this is adjustable. So you have two different voltage regulators, it seems. So there's a fixed one, which I'm going to use, and then it's an adjustable one. So you change these resistor values, like a voltage divider, and then you get a different output. That's pretty cool. So now we just have to add our decoupling caps. Why is this will never shock you. This will never ever shock you. This is 3 volts 3. These are just footprints. Do I have to use electrolytic caps? Because they're saying so. Mm. 
Let's try and look. Hey, Jay, I'm going to make it from scratch. That's going to be probably for me the, not the hardest part, but the most new part. I've never used USB-C before. And then we're going to make a USB hub with it. I think, then you have to multiplex it, I think. I'm not too sure, actually. I need to figure that one out. But we're going to make it ourselves. Okay. It's good to know. Uh, depends, right? So I need to do this every Sunday, so this will take quite long. But I think if I have to sit down and just focus, probably th three days, four days, I don't know. You mean build like this or build in real life putting the stuff on? Now it'll take long depending on the, I probably won't build this myself, I'll get uh, China to do it. I don't know, depends. Depends what components we choose. But this will take me probably a day if I have to solder this myself. Because there's more to come here like resistors and ICs. <laughs> yeah. Magpie, do you have a date for Canada yet or not? Because then, then the time zones will be a bit different. Let's just give it some annotate. What's not a bad plan? Oh! Who's Atlas Streambot? What are you doing, Russ? I watched what yesterday? I L L I L L I L L. The swim date. <laughs> Do you speak German, Magpie? What's your own language? Yeah, I did watch IPL. I'm gonna watch all the IPLs. I've, I've been missing sport a lot. Who do you think is gonna take it, Russ? Do you think AB will finally have a chance with that team? 
I want to choke again. Um, yeah, we want some ideas, right? So you speak four languages, that's amazing. Wait, so... So the Swiss language is very close to German? Sorry, I'm quite naive when it comes to European stuff. We don't really learn it at school in South Africa. Now Mumbai should have won that game. They threw it. That's the thing about Europeans, they all speak so many languages. Uh, let me focus. Is this a footprint? Just want to see if it is. But that's Switzerland's main main language. Because I see um, yesterday I saw an article that um, they're having a direct train now from Amsterdam to Zurich. That's Switzerland, right? <laughs> Before I make my no oh, I don't save, guys. <sighs> Afrikaans does count, but it's too close to Dutch. I actually have Dutch homework to do for tonight. Oh, <laughs> hey, Ravindra. Yes, this is Kikad. But I just... <laughs> I need to have an automatic save thing because I think I didn't even save since we started and now it's doing this uh, yeah if you don't want to learn you must feel that eh? I just want to push buttons now but it's not going to help have you used keycard before Ravanda? Italian. Wow. Ah, come on, ski cat, man. Any PC, P, PC can run ski cat. Ah. Guys, I think I'm going to have to redo the schematic. This hurts. This hurts a lot. Yeah. Let's cancel this. I just want to see if they've got the uh, S1. Don't want to delete anything. Okay, oh, it does have it. Sweet. Okay. Mm, undo. Save. Save. I don't. I don't think you can, can uh, simulate circuits now. Uh, to be honest, I haven't actually tried, but I don't think I can. Easy DA. Ah, oh, stupid headphones. What, what do you, what do you, what do you make Ravan, Ravindra, sorry Ravindra, what do you make an easy, easy, I know PCBs, but what projects? Yeah, she wants a better gaming PC, she wants to get a virtual reality headset, 
but now she needs to get a better hey, computer. But her piece is quite old, I think. Six, seven, eight years. So how many patterns do we have? Nine. Do any of you guys game? No, guys, what's going on here? This guy. What is Kia that love? Oh, you have your own website. Yeah. Automatic hand sanitizer. This guy. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've got a... Is it an Indian company? Oh, I don't actually check now. I assume this works like normal switches, nothing special. Oh, good luck, man. And you're designing that board on easy EDA. <laughs> You're stepping on toes there, Magpie. You're stepping on toes. I've never used easy D, easy D, EDA, so I can't actually say. Cool man, Amanda. Shout if you need help, eh? Uh, just gonna put these buttons.
for the startup, do you guys make a PCB or did you just uh, get some dev boards and put it together to test it? What are you currently playing if you have time, Magpo? Guys, I'm just making the buttons for Cherry, so I'll have three volts here and then it pulls high when I push the button. Well, generate a high signal, should I say. Time to come to the master race for us. Kerry's playing Foundation now, aren't you? Isn't that the game you're playing? Sounds familiar. you say that Russ? It's just you enjoying your game and people watching you. <laughs> no pressure. What is that game about? Jay, is gaming quite big in India? Because I know the Pug G was quite big right before China took it away. But I think gaming's big everywhere in this world lately. Ramesh, um <laughs> Honestly, just to try a different mic controller. So I've never actually used the STM uh, and apparently it's very nice. So it's 32 bit instead of the normal 8 bit we use. Have you used, have you used the ST before? I thought I'll change it up a bit because I've been quite stuck with the ESP32. And once you start getting comfortable, you keep using things and you don't actually 
Yeah. Once I start getting comfortable, I'll try new things. Because the more I struggle, the more I learn, right? So, so I'm expecting to make some mistakes. Thanks for the question, though. What, what microcontrollers do you use, Ramesh? Hey, Lucky Tiger. Yeah, everyone likes the STM. I always say SMT because I think about SMT components too much. But I've only heard good things about it. Oh, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even look at that. Will I program live? Um, Kerry doesn't know yet, but she's going to program live. <laughs> so in this team, Kerry is the much better programmer. But yes, we will program live. So we're going to get the drone soon as well. So we'll first program that. No pressure, Kerry. But all these, so what we do, the keyboard, the hardware, the software, everything will be available on GitHub, open source, whatever you want to call it. So the idea is that anyone who wants to can build this. If it's going to work, that's another question. You are the better programmer, Gary, just accept it. What's the difference between the nuclear board and the blue ball? Because I hear a lot about the blue ball. Guys, when you search on the internet, make sure you type in SDM after you search for blue ball. Because many times I just search for blue ball and I don't add the SDM and you get other stuff on the internet. So blue ball is a development board that has the SDM on it. What am I doing? I'm just causing nonsense. Yes. Yeah, so Arduino is normally have the 80 mega on it. Um, the ESP32 has got an ESP chip on it. It's quite nice for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enable. And then, yeah, the blue pole is quite for SDM. Yeah, Lucky Tiger, so I'm going to use the STM32. That's the one I've got here, I think. Ah, okay. The nuclear. Now then I'll order a nuclear and check it out. Maybe I have an RC filter here for the bouncing of the buttons. Lucky Tiger, where are you from? Guys, if I'm going too fast, if I'm doing something that you're not sure why I'm doing it, please say. Lekker man, welcome. Cape Town. So do you dabble or do you make some electronics PCB by trade or just for fun? Oh damn it. Gary, buy new headphones.
Krish, that's such a weird sentence. Anyone who plays Among Us here? Is the game called Among Us? Plug in. We're in the first century. Or what? 2000? What, what century in? Don't plug things in. Plug it in. Bye, Ravandra. Thanks for joining, man. If you're not part of our Discord, please join there, and then we can you can always ask questions and chat there. We at NMMU. That's so cool. Megatronics. So what do you do in Cape Town? Working. Working, working, working. Link. Is the link in the description? Uh, Gary, did we put the link in the description? Link in the description. Yeah, if you go down on the YouTube, there's a link at the bottom saying Discord. Ah, <laughs> Wesley has a link. You, YouTube said Wesley, man. I remember you good, man. <laughs> How are you there? Yes, the Discord link is at the bottom of YouTube. So if you just go below the, the I'll show you. So you're at the bottom, you can see the Discord. Just click on it and you'll go where you, where you need to go. Join the community there. We have some chats. And some very clever people there. Nice. No, oh, we're good, we're good. Yeah, I told Kerry to stream gaming and stuff, but she doesn't want to, so... Encourage her. Uh, LEDs, LEDs, LEDs. These are just normal LEDs, I think. Does Discord pay? No, it's no, it doesn't pay. It's free. So you just click on the link and then you say join and then join the Plumpot Discord. And there's a bunch of us on there. Some talking about drones. Um, there's some 3D printing, some gaming. It's just for us to get to know one another, build a hobby community or any community actually. You're bad at lying. What are you lying about? I don't understand. see Ravindra just joined the Discord channel. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if it's exactly that. <laughs> Virtual. Yeah, so it's a bunch of us all around the world. Like Magpies from Switzerland, we've got some Indians, some South Africans. Some Americans, so it's just a bunch of guys chatting about their interests, right? So it's also more about if you want to learn about this stuff. So you're busy with a project, you just got a question, maybe someone in the group knows the answer. So it might be a virtual friends of introverts support group, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But it's a bunch of cool guys. We also share designs on there. Uh, 
Ah, you on? Uh, let me send it. You're not on the miss on YouTube. Can I send the link? Did that work? Yeah, so there's the link guys. Just click the button, join. Yeah, that's a good way to say it, Magpie. I don't know, sessions. I would probably say uh, probably four more sessions. Oh no, maybe longer because we have to do schematic and then I'm going to make mistakes and I have to fix it because I always make mistakes. And then we have to put it on the PCB, we have to root it. Uh, I'll be very happy if we finish this end of October. It depends. If I only do it on Sundays, then yeah, it's going to take a while. Maybe I'll squeeze in some time during the week. I don't know. Uh, it's not a stupid question, guys. So this is a... Um, this is a keyboard key that you got in your... Uh, in your keys, on your keyboard in front of you. But it's got a switch and an LED. So the LED needs to be grounded to turn on. And the switch are ground to make the signal on the input of the microcontroller zero at all times. I call it Elon time, Magpie. So Elon Musk says it's three weeks, it's three months, but... <laughs> uh, so yeah, right, so it's a built-in key, key and LED. I'll just show you, it's maybe easier to show it like this. So you can see that it's got a, a switch and an LED. If that makes sense. I'm trying to think how to explain it. So when you push the button, you're going to make the signal on the controller high. But when you don't push it, you want to make sure it's zero. So that's why you pull it down to zero. I'm going to add a capacitor probably as well for uh, debouncing of the keys. I don't know if it's really necessary. But so it's two separate circuits. You've got the LED and the switch. They look at one symbol, but you need to ground the LED. So we're going to put some voltage here to put the LED on. There's no stupid questions. Uh, no. You mean, what do you mean by making the PCB, like a physical, uh, physical PCB or, or populated? Because I will never, I don't have the, the stuff to make the PCB myself, uh, not the quality PCBs. I, I want to get a CNC machine so I can make the, the hobby PCBs, but I'll get China to do it. That's cheap. Uh, I don't freelance stuff at the moment now, um, so this is just fun for me. You mean freelance asking other people to do boards for me? I've uh, not there yet, no. I enjoy it, so <laughs> it's difficult to give it to someone if I want to do it. Uh, what's going on here now? No, I don't think we need edge triggers. Maybe I put a capacitor there in case, then it's there. I don't know. I'll go through so many stuff in my mind while busy.
So now the LEDs, I think it's just normal 22, oh 20, 5 millimeter, 20 milliamps LEDs, but I'll probably use a MOSFET. I don't want to drive it straight from the pins. <laughs> Russ, I don't know. Cricket's always been fun, yeah, but I don't know what fines, man. I miss cricket a lot, actually. When's it starting in South Africa again? Surely you can start practicing now again? The guy, yeah. <laughs> that's the world we live in right now, eh? Professional Instagram bio writers. So these are just net tables, so wherever I put this label again somewhere is how they'll be connected to one another. So if I put, oops, so if I put LED1 over here somewhere, that means that this part and this part is connected. But I don't think I'm going to do that, I don't want to drive the LEDs directly from the chip. I think it can handle it, 20 milliamps, I should look. Uh, got a good library for you, so HID. <laughs> yeah, no, Kerry doesn't need convincing, she'll do it. She, she enjoys it. She thinks she's not good, but she can program it. Russell, that is a very good question um, because I'm stupid. <laughs> so it is easier to just make one, copy, 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 copy. Um, yeah, I don't have an answer for that, Russ. Honestly, it would have made life much easier. Uh, Kerry is my wife, um, so we do plum pot together. So my surname is Potgitter, and her surname is Plumstead, so that's what plum pot. Uh, yeah, I can program, so but there's a different way of programming, right? So if I program, I go all out. I just want it to work. I'll get it to work, but it's not efficient. It's not neat program. I'll say. I'll be honest. We're with her. She's very analytical and can program for the future and stuff like that. So yeah, if that makes sense. Like I'll program it for you, but don't ask me to add some extra features later on because it was not programmed a certain way and this and that. And Yeah, it, sh it should be efficient. These are just simple 5 millimeter, 20 milliamps of these. I actually think you can... <laughs> no, no, I can understand the confusion. So, yeah, so my name, my name is JP and my last name is Kerry. 
her surname is Plumstead, my son is Potgieter, so we just said Plumpot. That makes sense. And if I listen to Russell and just copy and paste it, I would have been done by now. I do listen to it. Uh, I, I enjoy it when him and Elon get together. I think that's just amazing. I'm a big Elon fan. Yes, you did. You did make sense. Um, like I said, I should listen to you. It's much easier to do that. <laughs> so if I finished one one button, I could have copied, 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 copied. That's fine. Uh, I should have done it. Um, mistakes were made. I sometimes get in my own zone and I don't always think. That's what I mean. I always just rush to the end. I just want to go through walls. Let me just make sure that I use the correct... Let's just make sure I don't use pins that I'm not supposed to use. So I just want nine normal input pins. Man. So you guys are joining Discord. Wes, what have you been making with the SMT? Oh, I keep saying SMT. Because we I used to work for a company where we had an SMT machine to populate the PCBs and stuff like that. And we always called it SMT1, SMT2 line, and now I just call everything SMT. It's STM. Anyway, uh, look for USB pins. You made your own soldering iron. That's cool. Joystick is controller status. Racing. Racing as in um, RC car stuff. That is so cool. Uh, what did I want to look at again? USB. Look at USB pins. 
Did that just give me the layout? So I'm just clicking and not focusing. Story of my life. Where's my pin? Pin, pin out. Pin out in description. Oops. So which pins are out of, so we say program is PA 9 and 10. Okay, so they are out of favor. URTX. And then don't use the SWD pins on the controller. Is one, two, three, can't I? Four, five, six, seven. I'm not using SPI. So I should not use PA 9, 10, 11, and 12. Oh, I see for USB. Yeah, Russ, it seems like you know what's going on about wheels. What? Semi cube. Is this for radio control cars or what is this? Why can't I just use BA1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, and 1? Okay. I'll just stay away from. I'm going to use the PAs here. Uh, I don't see any problem. SPI, I'm not going to use. There's enough ADCs. Wait, you're making electronics for computer game? I'm very confused now. I thought you're making it for like a dirt road. <laughs> I'm very confused. Oh, okay, now I get it. No wonder Russ understood it because he's, obs he's obsessed with Formula 1. Isn't it Formula 1 now, Russ? You guys lost me there for a while. Not the LED man, I want the button. 
That I do move to something else. Let's be eight. Uh, you said I'm missing this PA8, right? 9, 10, okay, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So these four PA8 you can use. I think I can use eight, so that's fine. Nagbar, do you have any Asquid C LED chips that you normally use? USB-C. That's going to be interesting. I'm quite excited for this USB-C part. I'm going to use a... No, I was just wondering if I can look as well. I was just wondering if you use one that you're familiar with. So this is just for my LEDs. I'm gonna put the WS to it as well on the board. It's just this is addressable LEDs, so you can put a large string together. Stupid earphones.
It should work with 303. What's the output of this M800? What's so special about it? We don't need that complicated stuff. But maybe if we PWM it, we can change the intensity. So many decisions. got this will also need to be checked this noise I'm not too sure what we're going to use yet I need to do some research and that was well. oh wow definitely have a look man I wonder if I'd... I'm lazy let's see if it's here It's here. Oh. Okay, okay. So it's basically this guys. So that small chip there. Just two wires, you can have 16 configurable digital outputs. There we go, the melodies. Breathe. This is perfect. I think we should definitely use this. I 
I have none. This looks good. Oh, so we can use this. We can use this. So all of them can be a uh, uh, breathe. So I'm gonna use these for. I've got nine though. So let's just use the first nine. Yeah, that's what I thought now. Ah oh, well, but this job seems good. Okay, it's just different banks, different banks. Copy, I'm just pressing C, guys. C. I will be there. What, what time are you streaming, Russ? Grab Bender's butter race. How's he doing? Is he still running or not? Thanks for joining, Russ. Thanks for joining. I'm also probably going to leave soon. I've got some errands to run with Kerry. I uh, promise I'll do it. So. Join, join the Discord dress and there's a gaming channel you can chat about your gaming. Are oh, you silly, silly, silly. After the IPL, you're gonna stream. <laughs> I'll join you, man. I'll join you, guys. If you like gaming, go check out Average Russ. He's not very good. That's why he's average, but he's cool to watch. Make a need to later. 
Do the traces. Just thinking what else we can do for a quick victory. I think this USB-C is going to be interesting. Because I'm not finding a lot of information about making USB-C hub as well. Because you can make the USB-C the easy way or the hard way it seems. Never used USB-C before. Oh, I've used USB-C but I've never made it before. It's going to be fun. I'm quite excited. I think next week we're going to do that. Guys, and don't forget next week, uh, we're going to do like a special stream for 1,000 subscribers. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. So we'll give some stuff away. Uh, we've got a, on our Instagram, there's a link that you can enter a competition. Uh, luckily, Magpie did tell us about some, the company wanted some extra information. So we took that away and it's only to fill in details, nothing else. Uh, yeah. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Might be a logical place to stop for now. I'm going to break this down as well. So I'm going to make shorter YouTube videos just on each section. Because when someone comes in our into the stream, it lasts quite a lot. So this is more just cool hanging out, helping. Cool guys, I'm gonna call it the day. I've got some errands to run. To be part of the grown up world. I wish I could do this whole day every day. Hey Andrew, you've been quiet. Cool guys, so if you want to join the Discord below in the in the description, if you're on Twitch, I'll just send it again. I'm not sure if we have it on Twitch. Oh, ah. that's cool. That's where you can ask questions. Thanks, Mac, by you too. And thanks for your help, man. I really enjoyed that uh, description you gave about the PCB we discussed yesterday. I know it was not detailed, but it was cool. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do, eh? Just help each other. And with your experience, it's really, really valuable. 22 years, that's a lot. I've got four, four times there to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome Sunday. Have an awesome week. Uh, we'll keep in touch. So next Sunday, we're going to try and make it a more special stream. Yeah, 1,000 subscribers. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to probably need some this up during the week. Um, so add the boring stuff that people don't really want to see. I'll attack the USB-C together because I think that might be a nice way to learn. But besides that, I think we did quite well. Um, if there's any questions, please let us know. You know where to find us. I will get the... What do you call that thing now? The drone PCB this week. So I'll show that to you guys. And then maybe you should stop programming that as well. But we'll discuss it. We'll talk about it. Keep close contact. Okay. Stupid headphone. I need to fix that for next time. It's irritating me. Okay guys, have an awesome week. Have fun building, have fun making. And just... Cool. Thanks for joining, guys. Appreciate it. Till next time.